Joe, so a lot of y'all be having the best ideas, but you don't have no money. I know you be sitting around at your cousin house, your sisters, aunts and uncles, and you like, yo, I got an idea, but everybody broke. How that is? How that is, bro? How everybody broke in the whole family? That's crazy. It shouldn't be like that, right? People perish because of the lack of knowledge. So I'm going to give you some game today on how you can come up within six months to a year or two years. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Two years max. That's all you need, right? But usually happen before then, man. So we're going to talk about mastering the art of credit. Y'all listen, I took $2,000 off a credit card and made $15,000. Come on, man. I got a student, right? Matter of fact, I got a student that grew $11 to $1,000. You think I'm capping? Bro, hold on. Give me, give me my phone, bro. Because y'all probably think I'm capping. Now, I don't know if they necessarily use credit, but you got to understand the power of credit. Because let's say they took $11 to $15 off of a credit card and made $1,000. You know how easy it is to pay that $15 back off on that card? Easy money, man. So we're going to read this together because I want y'all to know that we really do this. All right? So shout outs to LA, by the way. I don't know if y'all can see this. I'll throw it on the screen as well. But we're going to read this. It said, good morning, fam. I did it. Today, I made my first $1,000 with the same $11 using the supply and demand strategy with the 10-minute expiration time from the queen. The queen is my wife. If you haven't seen the video she dropped, make sure you go check it out on my Binary Options channel. All right? So, you know, she deposited that. She said, I can't believe this. Uh, August 27th is when I, when she deposited, she sent me all the proof, this, that, and the third. I told her congratulations. I'm proud of her. Listen, this is the power y'all. Like if you learn how to leverage credit, right? Not saying she leveraged her credit on this one, but it just brings that thought up in my mind. Cause I just recently did it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let me, let me slow down. I'm, I'm too excited. Y'all I'm too excited. Cause I want y'all to win. And I was just talking to the homie probably about a week or two ago putting him up on game on the credit and how he can come up and how he ain't got to live, how you living no more. And you can live top tier. You feel me? And so let me put my phone down, man, because I get too excited, y'all, when I talk about this, man. Because, look, a lot of times in our community, you know, we don't hear this kind of stuff. They tell us stay away from the credit is bad. They tell us don't leverage it. It's stupid. Somebody commented on my video the other day on Instagram. was like, yo, don't tell people to invest with a credit card. That's stupid. I'm like, bro, no, it ain't. Because, listen, when you put your money in a savings account, Guess where that money goes? Out to get lended out to somebody else. Oh, you didn't know that? <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. So why not do the same thing with their money? Why not take the money, right? Take it off the cards and reinvest into other things. Oh, you think it's cap? Check this out. And just to put it into perspective, you know, this right here is, is 300K in credit. And so when you have 300K in credit, a lot of it being on the 0% interest side, you can invest into many different things. One, you can scale your companies. Two, you can pull the cash out of the cards and then use that money and in invest in different things. So I'm scaling my four businesses right now with credit. My man's just said 300,000. He running four businesses off his credit cards. There's many more videos out there like this. Many, many more. So you can stay asleep all you want to, all right? But I'm telling you, it's the easiest way to come up, the fastest way to come up, get your credit fixed. You've been missing out on bread? You've been trying to figure out how you can get to 10, 15, 20, 50, 150 k Listen, the credit way, y'all. It's the credit way. I'm going to be right back because I got to show you all the big money, and then we're going to talk about it. Let's get it. So I'm going to let y'all know I ain't blowing smoke. I do got a big stack. You see how thick that is? Big stacks. You did. God is good. I take no credit. You feel me? Credit. You get it. But listen, this American Express, top tier stuff, airport lounges. Whenever you go take a flight, you get free access to an airport lounge that gives you free food and free drinks by just having this card. Top tier. You feel me? Navy Federal, big money on there. Discover, big money on there. Chase, all we get them all. You tell me one other place that you can go. It's going to give you 25000 10000 5000 out the gate in a business or, you know, in, at a job. Name it. I'll wait. We'll look around because I don't see one. <laughs> you dig? 
I'm excited about it because I know y'all gonna eat with this. You know what I'm saying? And so the thing is, you've been taught wrong. All right, our parents they didn't know. You feel me? They had the cards, and they told us not to use them. Why? Because they had J.C. Penney's cards, Sears cards, Macy's cards, them store cards, them trash. You know what I'm saying? Them trash. All you can do is buy clothes and household appliances with those. How you gonna pay that back? Somebody explain that to me. How you gonna pay that back? You can't. You feel me? So we are smart enough. We in a we in a different time in a different generation. And now we have to be more responsible. So you only use the card to invest into things so you could pay the card back. That's why the best thing I got going is day trading. Forex, binary options, stocks. But the fastest way, of course, Forex and binary options for me. You know what I'm saying? Because I can make the money back in a day or two, three days or a week and pay the card back. And see, the trick is it's not taking ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 off and putting it in the, uh, in the market off your card. No, you don't got to take that much off. Why? Because... You might have a bad week, you know what I'm saying? And it's easier to pay back $500 or $300 or $1,000 than it is to pay ten, fifteen thousand $15,000 back if you have a bad week, right? But the best part about day trading is you can start with small amounts, right? I got plenty of people in my group, started with $100, bucks, grew it to two, three thousand. dollars started with $100, bucks, grew it to five, ten thousand. dollars You know what I'm saying? How easy, is it, how easy is it to take that $100 off and put it right back on the card, pay the card off? Best thing about that is, y'all, you can get points, Airline miles. We talking taking free trips. I already, already talked to y'all about this. We talking about using them points to cash out on Amazon. I do it all the freaking time, y'all. Literally. Like, I go to check out on Amazon, and it's like, uh, check out with points. I just click check out with points, and I'm getting free stuff sent to the house. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing, ain't nothing, ain't nothing to it. You did. But listen, I just want y'all to understand that if you feel like you in last place, and you feel like people coming up in life, and you the only one stuck? Hmm. I wonder why, bro. Because you too busy trying to pay for everything for cash. You got to have credit, y'all. Like, in order to live in this society, credit is key. All right? It's so much you can do with it. So many people buying real estate properties with it. So many people doing Airbnb businesses. Touro, buying food trucks with it. Buying used cars and reselling them. They doing all that with credit. And you sitting back looking for jobs and filling out applications, bro. You doing all that. And, and everybody on the come up said you. Crazy. Crazy. We ain't having it no more. Listen, the best way to think about it is use it as a check-in and a savings account. All right? Think about it. Because if you buy something, let's say I go on a $2,500 vacation off my credit card, right? And it's a 0% interest credit card, meaning I don't pay interest for 21 months or whatever the case is, right? I take that trip. I make some money in the markets. I pay that card back. I pay zero interest. How much did I really pay for that trip then? Was it $2,500 or was it zero? The answer is zero. I paid nothing. The trip was free. How? I'll explain. The reason how it was free is because anytime you pay interest, interest is always money you do not get back. So if you pay interest on the card, that interest, that money gone, you don't get that back. But if you pay 0% interest and you pay the card back, did the money really go? Because it's back on the card. So where did it go? Nowhere. <laughs> it's back on the card so I can reuse the card again and go do something else. That's the dopest thing about revolving credit. That's the dopest thing about credit. All right. How can you get your credit popping? I mean, it's a couple different ways. Secure credit card starting out. And if you do a secure credit card, you want to find out what's the highest limit that you can put on the card. Because secure is when you put the money on the card. If you could do $2,500, you want to max it all the way out at $2,500. And then use that for like gas. Uh, buy some clothes at Ross or something cheap, you know what I'm saying? And then just pay that off monthly like that. Or you could do uh, Self, the Self uh, Credit Builder. Look that up on YouTube, kick off. It's a whole bunch of other different ones. And just keep your stuff good, you know what I'm saying? Pay it off. Um, I would say pay it off every month. And, and you know, just get used to doing that for six months. They'll, you know, change you over to the unsecure and then you good. And it's so much more you could do with credit though, y'all. It's like, it get ridiculous. Like, you could be a lender, because we call it to be the lenders and not the borrowers, right? Since everybody talking about, oh, you're going to go into debt. That's cap. The only way you go into debt is if you don't know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? The only way you go into debt, again, is if you don't know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, yeah, you're going to go into debt. You're going to lose everything you ever had in your whole life. Everything gone. The debt collector's at the dough, and you're done. You're done.
You know what I'm saying? So you got to pay attention to what I'm telling y'all. Be responsible. Pay your stuff off on time. Do not use more than what you can afford to pay back. It's that simple. But just know that the bank's going to give you all the money you need in hopes that you mess it up so they can get paid. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to dominate the market. You dig? We here to learn skills that's going to put more money into our pocket. We basically doing exactly what the bank is doing anyway, right? Because we put our money in savings, we get 0.0 something piece of interest and they lend the money out and trade it and do all this stuff in the S&P 500 and do all that. So we're going to take that money and reinvest it into all these different things and we're going to get our we're going to get our bag right, you know what I'm saying? So stop running away from it just cuz you was uninformed. Now that you informed, stack these cards up, you did and get this paper. Get this money. There's so many different perks that come with this, y'all. There's so many different perks with it, y'all. Like, y'all got to stop playing these games because I'm telling you, you're getting left behind out here in these streets. You dig? So when it comes to people not knowing knowledge about wealth, bruh, this right here is going to change the game for you and your family. Be the first one to do it and be the first one to be able to let people know, look, this is how you come up. I'm telling you, I did it, uh, what, three years ago. And, and, and then came up off the credit. That's why I tell y'all, if nothing else works, that credit gonna pop in for me. If I went down to my last dollar and all I had was six figures in credit, I know I can trade small amounts. That's the benefit of trading small amounts, y'all. Like everybody wanna get to the, I wanna trade a 100K account, 500K. The, the dopest part, because most people will never get there, the dopest part <clears throat> is being able to grow three to $500 or $1,000. That's the dopest part. Why? Because if you ever got down to your last $100 or $300 or $500, you know how to flip it and grow it and grow it and get right back to where you started. You know what I'm saying? So don't just dis don't despise small beginnings, y'all. Like continue to eat, continue to grow, continue to win because that's what it's all about. Man, I want to see y'all eat, man. There's so many people that hit me up like, yo, I want, I want my own barbershop. You know, I want a nail salon for the females, you know, this, that, and the third, her, her shop, whatever. And, and they're like, bro, I'm just trying to figure out how, to, how can I get the money. And I'm like, bro, it's the credit way. They're trying to do all these different things. They're working extra hours, working two or three jobs. For what? You're killing yourself, bro. You don't want to be out here 50, 60 years old looking back like, dang, I wish I would have did something with my life. No, nah, you want to live right now. This what we're trying to do is live right now. We don't have time for that. Life ain't promised to nobody. I know so many people that have passed away over the past 10 years. That's young, you know what I'm saying? So you don't know how much time you got. You better live it right now. So let's get to it. Ain't nothing wrong with fast money if you know how to keep it. The only problem with fast money is you lose it fast because people don't know how to keep it. You know what I'm saying? They, gonna think, they think it's always going to be coming in. No, you got to be smart with it while you got it. And that's how you keep it long, long term. You know what I'm saying? So if you can't tell right now, your boy hyped up. I'm hyped up for you. Because I'm so, it's so many people since 2020 that hit me up and say, bro, I'm up 40000 in credit now. This, that, and the third. I'm moving. I'm making moves. I'm doing artwork. You know, I'm selling artwork online now. I'm running ads with my credit card, bro. Like, I had no money to run ads. And now I'm running five, six $6,000 ads. And the, and the turnaround is crazy. You know, they seeing forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a month. I'm running ads to their business, to their Shopify stores, and this, that, and the third. And I'm telling you, that's the way. It was an aha moment to me when I found out. I was like, yo, how you go... Cause this is my this is a little bit of my story. Like I said, uh, 2013, I graduated from Langston University with a business management degree, right? Cause they tell you go to school, get a job, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, okay, cool, did that. Try to go look for some jobs. They was like, bro, you got the degree, no experience. I'm like, huh? No experience. Wow. So I went to four. I went four years for no reason. So they would not give me a good job. Which led me into, you know, all this. But I know my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was looking out for me because that simply meant to me, he didn't want me to get comfortable to a job. Because that's the worst thing you could do is for them to start paying you a little good. And then you stay longer than you're supposed to. And you get comfortable. And then you don't feel like doing nothing else in life because you're just comfortable where you at. And I didn't want to be at that point in my life at all. You feel me? So, God is good, man. Um, leverage the credit. I told y'all. Uh, you, could, you could be an authorized user. You know what I'm saying? Once you got a lot of these, you don't need this many. You need a good five and just work on increasing the limits. And that's another dope thing, though, is that 
let's say you got five or six credit cards, right? Over time, they just gonna automatically increase the limits without you even having to do nothing. Now, every six months, I do recommend, you know, going in there asking for an increase or whatever. But if you don't, they still gonna increase them. You know what I'm saying? So imagine going from 5,000 to, to 10,000 in six months. And then from 10,000 upwards to 20, 22,000. You know what I'm saying? It, on multiple cards. And it's like, bro, you can't beat that nowhere. And now when you when 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 opportunities come up, when they come up, you ready. You know what I'm saying? If emergencies happen, you ready. I never forget a time, y'all. Listen, never forget a time where I was shooting uh I was shooting music videos. I was doing like short films and stuff for, for my city or whatever, doing photography. And I had a bad month one month, and I had to call my mom and say, "Yo, I, I ain't got rent. Can you help me out?" She told me to call my brother. I remember I did not want to at all. I was embarrassed. Like, bro, I don't want to call him for that. So I ended up hitting him up. He gave me the $600. And I, I, I assured myself that that would never have to happen again. But long story short, if I would have had one of these, all I had to do was take $600 off of here, pay my rent. I didn't have to ask nobody. And then I, that next month, I had a great month. And, and it was like, dang. You know what I'm saying? It was embarrassing. Didn't want to do that. But I had to. But like I said, like when you got these, you really ain't going to need nobody if you know what you're doing. You ain't got to ask nobody for no money. You ain't got to ask nobody for no ride. If your credit good, you can go to the freaking car lot like my wife did twice and get zero money down on a new car. They didn't check no, no documents or nothing. They didn't even check her income or nothing. That's crazy to just walk in the lot and say, yo, I want the Mercedes right there, the AMG joint. Let's get it. Sign the code papers and we out of there and that's it. No money down, no nothing crazy that's crazy to me y'all like why we can't come up because you just this is a lack of knowledge that's why you that's why you been where you at that's why you were struggling you ain't got to struggle no more though get the knowledge of this credit forget forget man listen forget everybody that's telling you not to use it they don't know what they talking about most of them broke anyway keep it a hundred talk to somebody that's doing it like me and my wife we doing it we living it real talk like not playing no games my wife the other day got a uh she took 7000 They gave her a balance transfer check off her Discover card of like 7000 She flipped that thing, man. Already paid it back. My wife killing the markets right now, if y'all ain't know. Already paid it back. Boom, boom, boom. Then she took, uh, I think they just gave her an increase or something of 10000 or sent her a, a line of credit of 10000 off the Amex or something crazy like that. Like, come on, man. I just got another credit increase on my Navy Federal. Like, What? They just giving money, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't have to do nothing. So it's like, yeah, go to school if you want. Uh, get a good job and all that because there's nothing wrong with a job. But J-O-B does stand for just over broke. Why? Because they don't pay you enough. You know what I'm saying? They don't. And they will never pay you what you truly worth. You know what I'm saying? And I get that. It's a blessing to have. But at the same time, you got to use your knowledge and wisdom and go out there and make multiple streams of income and do it this way because I'm telling you the best thing going. You get benefits from it. You swiping that card, you getting points and airline miles. After all your hard work, go take you a free trip or whatever the case is. You did. And so I'm looking out for y'all because somebody looked out for me, told me I was playing the wrong game. And I never forget, 2019, my bro told me, hey, you playing the wrong game. He pulled out that stack of credit cards and I'm like, wow. Never knew that. <laughs> but now that I know, now it's me. Now it's me telling y'all. I got the stat. And now I'm telling y'all. You did. You're playing the wrong game. Get in the game, man. You got to. It's too many opportunities passing you by. I know it's a million times. A million times you have seen the idea that you thought of, but you didn't already seen it play out in somebody else's life. And you thought of it a long time ago, but you didn't have the money to do it. And somebody else came up with it. And you mad. You pissed. Bro, I thought of that. I did that a hundred times. And I'm like, you know what? I got to get my money right. I got to get my money up. I'm tired. Bro, I got to eat. And I got to make sure other people eat. Because it ain't enough for you to get the knowledge. You got to pass the knowledge on. Each one teach one, y'all. Each one teach one. That's what this is about, man. It ain't about you getting the money and being selfish and flexing and stunting. It's so much more fun when everybody can stunt with you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not doing this to stunt and flex and say, oh, I got six figures of credit. My wife got six figures of credit. Like, we up. Like, no, 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 no. I want y'all to be there with us. You know what I'm saying? So when you see me out, you're like, bro, check it out. I love testimonials. Send me all y'all's. Comment below. Hey, 
what's y'all credit limits? I love to hear that kind of stuff, man. Like, what what y'all looking at? Like, what y'all what y'all plan on uh buying? What y'all plan on investing in? Like, what neighborhoods y'all trying to stay in? Like, people like yo, upload some more of those videos where you looking at houses and stuff. Like, I got y'all coming. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, all that's inspiration. But it don't mean nothing if you don't do no action behind it. So. Y'all got to put in that work. Get that credit right. Get up there to them 700s. Get up there to that 850. You know what I'm saying? That's the goal. I'm in the sevens, but I'm trying to get to that eight. They say you got to have like 21 accounts on your stuff to get to the eight something. So still working on that. You did or, you know, getting my stuff popping. But look, the best thing you could do is once you get your personal uh, score right to the sevens, then you want to start business credit. You want a personal guarantee. It. A lot of people tell you no PG, no personal guarantee is better. But you got to jump through so many hoops with net 30 accounts and all this craziness. When you rather just use your personal credit to personal guarantee business credit. Once you get to the business credit, y'all, it's a whole nother game. You're getting five, I mean, I said 500, but you're getting 250 to 500,000 uh, dollars or 150, somewhere around in there on the business side. And that ain't none of that going to show up on your personal. So you can make big moves over there. That's how people are buying apartment buildings, putting down payments on storage units. And all this kind of stuff that you've been missing out on. You feel me? The hardest part of this whole thing is trying to figure out how you're going to spend the money. No cap. That's the hardest part, y'all. <laughs> like, what do I want to invest in? So I challenge y'all today to sit back and think, if I had $50,000, if I had $150,000, if I had $200,000, what would I want to do with it? Do I want to open up a, a lounge? You know what I'm saying? That's a dope idea. A dope lounge with some... With some R&B music, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and some food. Like, do I want to, you know, do this, that, and the third? Like, really think about it because it might happen for you one day. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all is already happening for it. I'm proud of y'all. A lot of y'all killing the markets too. Y'all paying them cards back. Y'all doing what y'all supposed to do. Y'all being responsible. And, and that's what it's all about, man. So, it's your boy, Jay Cash, man. Hopefully, this video inspired you to get off your butt and go get you some paper. You feel me? And if you can't get it the job way, man, one more time. Y'all better get it the credit way, man. I've been telling y'all this for years, bro. Easiest money ever. They giving it away. You did. I love y'all, man. Lord willing, I'll see y'all in another video. Comment below what you think. Let's get it.